everyone! I'm Master Mark, and it's my pleasure to welcome you back to RimWorld. Now, I should state before the start of this episode that in this session, I have decided to change a lot of the video recording settings. Um, we are now running at a higher bitrate, so hopefully, hopefully it should look a lot better. I've increased the bitrate by about 10 times over. Um, but yeah. Because of this change in the way I record video, this, it should look a bit sharper, if not a lot. But there may be some hiccups because I'm not used to using this high of a bitrate while recording. So, if you like this or you notice any buds, bugs, feel free to tell me in the comments. Besides that, let's get back to what we were doing. Let's see. It's been about a week since my last recording, so I gotta look here at everything. We were getting rice. Yeah, that's right. We were growing rice. I think one more rice crop, and then we're good to roll. I'll just have them do one more, and then we can just get out of here. Because tell you what... Jeez, old Pete's. Who was just driving us in? Okay, it's fine. Where are we? Wait a minute, are we here? Yeah, here we are. I thought we were farther. The plan is to go down through here, around, and get to the base over here. We are so close to our journey destination. So... Very, very close. And we could probably get there in like eight days if we took the fastest way, but that's the dangerous way. I don't want to go by so many hostile bases. That's the Dominion of Karo, and that's the League of Oguma. Neither of them particularly like me. Hmm. I think we'll probably take like down through these er this area here. We'll go up and around these guys through this area. And then down through here. I think that's the route we'll take. Because we don't want to get into many fights. Because we don't have many people to work with here. In fact, I think the majority of our people are actually pretty garbage at fighting. Thankfully, not everyone is. Incapable of violent hornet. Can you do violent? Yes, you can. You there, bus. Can you do violent? Yes, you can. I'm going to give you that rifle instead. Actually, that's 18%. Don't do that. Don't use that rifle. That's a waste of ammunition. Alright, besides that, what are we up to? Just sort of cooking pemmican. Alright, so let's go ahead and mine out these components, because we don't have anything better to do. But that'll add to our colony wealth, which is not good. Dang it, I just want to get this crop. This is going to be our last rock crop, so don't even bother sowing. I just want to get this last rice crop and get on out of here. I'm ready to hit the road, Jack. I won't come back no more. No more, no more, no more. No. After this rice crop, we should have enough to make it to at least the coast. Should be able to make it at least down here. In an ideal world where my every calculation is correct. Which, as you may have noticed by in this series, is rarely correct. But hey, what's that matter? Let's just get stuff going. We've got a horseshoe pin in there. Maybe I should give them some more stuff for joy. I need to get them doing something during this downtime. What am I going to have them do? we got four colonists idle. You know what? Why don't we go ahead and like... Hmm. We need more meat to make pemmican. Because pemmican... They, they like pemmican more than raw food. Speaking of pemmican, where is it? There we have, 120-some. Alright. Is there anything here we can hunt? Just to keep people busy, I'm just gonna say hunt anything on the map. Just keep people busy, you know? What was that? Mega Scarabs will attack? Whatever, it's fine. Um, ba 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 there's a lizard. Just hunt anything on the map, guys. I gotta keep you busy. Actually, do we even want to keep them busy? We could probably hit the road now. I mean, if we wanted to. I'm just a little nervous. Just a little nervous, mind you. Hmm. Yep, yeah, we probably could and it'd be fine. Let's look here. Let's do another calculation. So this is 0 0.5 nutrition. Let's... Let me, let me just look up how nutrition works in this game. So I don't remember. Let's see. RimWorld Nutrition. Nutrition unit. Because I'm not sure if nutrition is per meal or per day. Nutrition per day. 
Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. 1.6 nutrition per day. Yeah, two meals per day. Okay. So I'll need 1.6 nutrition per day. So at that rate, rice, which is 0 0.5. Okay. 1.6. 160 divided by 5. I need to get my calculator out. I'm just, just give me one second. I'm going to do the math, math on my phone. Jeez, oh, Pete's monkey math. All right. Nope, that's the memo, not the calculator. Jeez, oh, Pete's, this is a mess. How did I survive this long? Okay. 160 divided by 5. 32. Okay, so I'll need 32 rice per day. So at that rate, we have roughly 10 days worth of rice. All right, that's good. And with an additional, I'd say... <sighs> okay, and then an additional four. So we have like four days worth of traveling rice right now. Four, four days worth of traveling with everyone here. Depending on if things go well or not. That's just the thing. It's calculating. It's monkey math. You know? Math for monkeys. Now I gotta get my, my timer back out. Excuse me. I keep the timer to keep track of how long the episodes are going, so that way you guys don't have to do anything. Man, I'm just tempted just to pick up and leave now. We've got this pillbox. No one's come to attack us yet. We're just kind of chilling out in this desert. There really isn't much we can do. We're a nomadic tribe, and there's nothing really to hunt or gather. You know what? Gathering. We should do some of that. You know what, guys? Just go out there. Gather whatever you can find. Maybe if we find, like, a ton of stuff to gather, we'll, like, go away early. I don't know. I'm just anxious about us running out of food and having to settle down in the middle of... What was that? There's a notification there that I accidentally deleted. Well, I think it was a yellow one, so I don't think it mattered too much. Let's just hope so, huh? Alright. Come on. Go ahead and harvest everything out there. I just want to have as much food as possible. That's just my thing. I just want the food. Give me the food. Give me the food, man. Why do we even have these animals? We can't get eggs from them. It seems that we can't get eggs from iguanas the same way we get eggs from chicken. So why bother having the iguana around? It's not worth, it's not worth the effort in keeping them alive. There we are. Sorry, iguana number one. But, you know, you gotta give us those eggs or we're gonna kill you. Same for you, Ostrich One. You better you better pay attention to that. Learn a lesson here. If you want to survive in this colony, you gotta be useful. Mm-hmm. You pay attention, you pay attention good. Well, the good thing is that we've got a bunch of alien like shock and insanity lances that we can use if we ever need to. That's something cool that we have. Maybe we'll use that sometime. Let's go ahead and remove this floor around here. Because I'm not sure how these got to like 88%, 88% and all that. Hm. We'll have to use these in case we get attacked. Jeez, oh, Pete's, I am not looking forward to that. I, just, I shouldn't have said that word. I probably shouldn't be carrying around this much jade. We're going to want to get rid of this jade as soon as we can. Where's the nearest trading settlement? District by the river. We'll go there, we'll sell our jade and all that, and then we'll run up here. Yeah, that'll work. We'll sell all our stuff here and district by the river. We'll run up to Tranka, and then roll through there. Depending on how the food supply lasts us, of course. We might not have the supply to make that whole detour. We'll just have to hang on and hope. Mm -hmm. At least it's some nice music. How far are we on this? A rice crop takes approximately, I don't know how long. I think I'm just going to harvest it as soon as it's able to be harvested. As soon as all of them reach like 50%, which should be in another day or two. Jeez, oh, Pete's, I just want to get on the road. I've got Wanderlust, you know, like the name of this beta. That's what I want to do. I want to, I want to get on the road, you know, explore the world and find out what's what and what's where. You know? Like the pioneers did. I just want to do that. Because it's cool. Oh, speak of the devil. 
tribesmen are coming. There's four of them. Okay, kiddos. Everyone. Everyone, get into the bunker. That includes you, bus. Everyone into the bunker. If you're not going to the bunker, James, I need you to hide inside the house. Thankfully, we should outgun them. Where are they going for? They're attacking the sandstone wall. Question is, which one? They're all melee, so as long as we, like, nail them in the legs or something, we should be fine. Alright, they decided to steal and leave. Nope, I have good stuff in there. That's not allowed. Don't, oh, gosh, darn, what are they taking? Silver, jade, and two of our lances. They're gone. Okay. I guess I probably should have put up that wall sooner, huh? Jeez, oh, yeah, I should have seen that coming. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't, but I just didn't see that coming. Okay, just put up that wall so that way they can't steal more of our good stuff. At least that means that our wealth is down and therefore we shouldn't get as brutally attacked. You know, attack should be less often now. Well, not less often, but not as difficult to deal with, you know? I know. Very much know. At least I hope I do. Let's get some more doors up so that way we can get in and out of the storage room. Whew. We're just waiting. We're just waiting right now for these crops to get ready. Should be ready at dawn of tomorrow. And then we'll pack up our caravan and hit the road. Let's see, where is the button for caravan packing area? Here it is. Alright. That'll get us ready to move. We'll be ready to move so fast you'll call us ready to move Jenkins. Or something absurd like that, you know? Some sort of, like, funny, like, Ooh, I'm so fast! You guys will have to make, give me a special name about it! You know? Like that. You know? Super fast Mark. You know what? Maybe that's what I'll say I'm the master of. I'm the master of being super fast. Ooh. Let's see. Does, does rain give extra growth rate? I'm not sure. I don't think it does, though. Minor break risk... Alright, let's go ahead and harvest the rice. Well, not all of it's ready yet. Um, 58%. No, it's not 50%. It's probably like 70%. Alright, no reason to rush. Um, Lagua still has his asthma, which is at major stage. That's not good. Hopefully we can just survive. Alright, what are we gonna do? i tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go on another hunt. Where are some animals I can hunt? Where are some, like, rats or stuff like that? Ooh, bulk goods bulk goods trader. Alright, I can talk to them. Who has our highest social? That would be James. James, I need you to go ahead and, like, talk to the person who runs that and get us some good stuff. Let's see, what can we sell? What can we, uh, sell? I think they stole all of our jade. Nope, they didn't. They just don't want it. Alright, that's fine. Um, helmet would be nice if I could afford it. I have like zero. They took all my silver. That's not good. Um, we'll sell them a parka and a couple shirts at basically no money. And we'll sell them a whole bunch of, uh, whole bunch of steel. And in exchange, we'll take some pemmican. How much can we get? How much pemmican can we get? Can we get like a... I think we can get like 150. Nope, we can get more than that. How about 200? We can get a little bit more. Let's get 220. That's good. All right. I don't like having much silver because it means we get rated more. We get rated uh, worse. The raids are worse when you have like silver and stuff. Ooh, got so much stuff. We just gotta wait. All right, they're harvesting some rice. After all that rice is harvested, we should be good to move somewhere. Some insect meat has rotted away, but really that's not a big deal. Might as well leave these two doors on hold open, just to save time. Hmm. Can we sell them all the textiles and leathers and stuff? Uh, let's go talk to them about that. Hey bud, you want all- oh, they do. Okay, we'll take- we'll so let them have those. In exchange, we'll take as much pemmican as they can sell us. 
And then what else can I buy? Maybe some herbal medicine? Maybe? Nah. Um, helmets. Got any helmets? Got any helmets? Nope, doesn't look like they have any helmets. Hmm. Parka. Nope, nothing really for us. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, I'll take your silver, though. Oh, two of their people are fighting. Sierra and Louise are fighting. Oh no. Oh my god. Sierra's dead. James, steal her pemmican. Jane, James, James. Steal that pemmican before they can pick it back up. That's our pemmican now. Jeez, oh peace. They're probably gonna hate me now because uh, they that person died while they were here. That's probably gonna be like a negative mood. That's gonna be a negative relations with them. Where are these guys from, anyways? Dominion of Cairo. How does Cairo feel about us? 24? Alright. They should be fine as long as it as long as just like one person dying. Should be fine. No problems, right guys? Right guys? Hopefully. We'll harvest all of this in the morning. Because that's when they'll get to work. Let's see restriction. Yep, restriction's still on. These guys are getting their joy needs, and that's good. How is their joy right now? Really above what it needs to be, but that's fine. I'll let them have their little bit of fun. <laughs> Alright, we're just waiting. Cargo pods! Ooh, wonder what's there. Oh, it's it's slight. The one thing we did... Stone isn't going to do us any good out on the road. No, no, no. You know, giving us stone? That's like giving us something we don't need. You know what? That's a complete redundant, because I just said that. What? Why did I say that twice in a row? I swear. It's a completely redundant saying that again. I don't get it. Why to say that? Mark, you are the master at not making sense. That is what you are the master of. Alright, it's morning. Let's harvest the last of this rice. Currently I have like 400 some. 400 some. Oh, we got a ton of food. Food shouldn't be an issue while we're traveling now. Or hopefully, at least not for a while. Should be able to pack up and move. Ostrich almost has an egg, but I'm not sure if, like, ostriches give us their eggs. Or if... I don't think they drop their eggs. Which basically means there's no reason to keep her around but as, like, a... Like a mobile source of food. Do ostriches empty eggs? Huge eggs. I'm gonna Google this. I'm gonna Google it on this while while they do their thing. Rimworld ostrich eggs. Ostrich eggs? Do they drop eggs? I don't know. Ostrich. Alright, it appears that they do indeed drop eggs. So I guess it's worth keeping around. We'll keep her around with us just for the sake of the eggs. We'll let her have first call on all the rice while everyone else eats other stuff. Alright, that's the rice harvested. Let's pack up this caravan. Ooh. Gonna form a caravan. Get everyone together. Pumpkin. Oh boy. So much food. Seven days. Twelve days of food. Boy, we are gone. We're gonna take the really bad components so that way we can't get like raided on the way. Well, less likely to anyways. We'll also take the psychic lance just in case. The bolt action and some cock and some explosives, as well as the silver. And alright, that'll be just about everything we need. We're gonna exit to the southeast. Actually, straight south. We should be good. Actually, actually, is it is okay. That's just straight desert. So let's go there. Straight south should work. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get this caravan on the road. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Everybody get out, we're rolling. Let's move it, everybody. Get out. We're, we're going, we're gonna get to our ship. This is it, this is do or die. This is gonna be the do or die of whether or not we win here. And now let's abandon Oasis to say that we are officially done here. We have done what we have needed to do and I feel like we may be able to make it through to there. But just before we leave, let's plan our route one more time. Not there. There. 
We're gonna go out here. Then we're gonna go up there. That'll be okay. So then down here. Nope, not like that. Like this. Four days. Five days. And then over there. Nine, ten days. Ideally, it should take us around ten days to get where we need to. Tell you what, I think we can make this. I think we can make the final leg of this journey. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments and subscribe if you want to see how this ends. All in all, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on RimWorld. Bye!